Hi crafters, it's Karen and I wanted to come on for a couple of reasons today. The first reason being I got some Snoopy mail. Look at this, I'm very excited. Um, we all know Snoopy mail is mail from um, Lydia. I triple dog dare you. Hi girly, thank you so much. So I'm going to get into this in a moment but I wanted to also, um, as long as I'm here, give you an update as to what's been going on because I know I haven't been a good YouTuber lately. I mean, I, I'm missing videos. Um, I'm laxed on my commenting and everything. And so what happened, what happened was this. You know, Joe and I had gone on that cruise. Fabulous time, by the way. Oh, my God. Yeah, we want to do that as, again as soon as possible. <laughs> anyway, um, so we had a fabulous time. And then, of course, a few days went after we got back, it was Thanksgiving. And my sister came down um, for Thanksgiving, mostly to see my mother. And um, so, you know, that's a busy time anyway. Uh, and then my sister went home. And then um, a couple of days after that, well, no, that night, as a matter of fact, about 10.30 at night, my mother called me, and I could hardly understand understand her. And for those of you who don't know, she lives right down the street from me. Um, I could barely understand her, but she was asking me to please come over and turn on the heat because she was shivering and she couldn't warm up. Well, right away I knew you know, she doesn't need the heat on. She needs a thermometer because it sounds like a fever. So I grabbed my thermometer, and I grabbed some NyQuil because I wasn't sure what she had down there. And um, she was all bundled up in her down comforter, and we live in South Florida, in her down comforter, just shivering. I took her temperature, and it was um, 101. And she didn't want me to call, a take her to the emergency room or anything like that, because she didn't want to end up in, like, a rehab or something. So I told her, I gave her some NyQuil, because she had a cough, and I told her, I'll give you half an hour, and... You know, I'll come back and see how you're doing. So, but if your temperature goes up, Mom, we're going to have to do something because, you know, this, this means something up. Something's up. Anyway, okay, she said. So I turned off the light and let her sleep. And about 20 minutes later, I went in to check. And her fever was 103. And I, and I told her, Mom, she says, I know, I know. you got to call somebody. So I called the ambulance. And it, as it turned out, she had pneumonia. So she was in the hospital for a week, and she responded to all the medications and everything else. So, um, you know, that, that was really good that she responded and that her body was strong enough to get through that. So anyway, but, by the, but when she got home last week, <clears throat> she's been so weak, you know, so um, and not been driving. So I've, I've been going down there a couple times a day. I've, I've been going down there in the morning to make sure she can get through her morning routine, you know, getting up and taking her medications and whatever else and have coffee with her, you know. And um, and then go back in the evening, make sure she's eating something because she doesn't have an appetite right now. And um, But she's slowly, she's very slowly getting strength back. So anyway, you know, that's what's been, that's what's been going on, just, um, you know, things have shifted to where there's another priority. So, but, um, but she, like I said, she's getting stronger. So, so that's, that's good. I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, so anyway, that's, that's what's been going on. Uh, everything else is, um, is, you know, same old, same old. This is our Christmas tree. And um, it was really cute when I was done with it. But by the time Alyssa was done with it, it wasn't cute anymore. <laughs> I mean, she literally walked up to it, picked up something. I think one of my little shell candy cane things picked it up and went, ah, oh, snap. <laughs> it just broke it. She just standing there, just broke it. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, but yeah, so she, it, we had a... a extended family Christmas, you know, people from Fort Lauderdale came up and, and Alyssa was here and the house was filled with adults and yet still <laughs> Alyssa's hands were able to get in there and shift all my ornaments. 
anyway, that's all right. <laughs> anyway, so so let me get into this happy mail. And um, thank you so much, Lydia, for thinking of me. I, I well, you know, I <laughs> I, I, I'm just not, um, yeah, I've been lax in so many things, you know, and I'm really sorry about that. So I really appreciate you thinking of me. And I, I, I you know, it's not that I don't think of you all. It's that it's, it's hard for me to set aside time to do anything about it, if that makes sense. I know it sounds incredibly selfish, but, you know, we all have our things going on, right? So, anyway, Christmas card. <laughs> and I hope I don't run out of battery because I've just been rambling on about my own nonsense. But, um, oh. Um, look at this card. I love this die. I, I have this die too, I think. I have one of these ornament dies. Look, look at the tool ribbon she has with the gold sequins. Really sweet. Lydia, this is so cute. I just love it. Uh, big hugs back to you. I just love you, Lydia. And I really appreciate you thinking of me. So, oh, I love her handmade stuff and her wrapping. She's always so creative. Look at this. The little baggie with the um, Rudolph mail and the little wreath there. How sweet is that? See? Super simple, but incredibly cute, right? With this little baggie, and I've got the little ornament to alter. And it's an ornament. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to have to re-adhere this. Because I think, are they separate? No, I think I'm going to have to re-adhere this, but look how cute. It's a little snowman bottle cap on some, it feels like, um, crochet doily type deal look at that on top of on top of the uh ornament really cute and then there's a little doily on the back side maybe it goes this way you let me know lydia how it goes but i'm gonna adhere it i think it goes this way because look the back is all glittery anyway thank you really cute oh look oh look at this little pink baggie and this is from the um Graphic 45, I, it's not, I can't get it off the top of my head, but look how she altered that. Friends, the little flower, really super sweet, very shabby. So cute, you're so creative with your packaging, Lydia. I tend to just stuff, stuff something in a bag and call it a day. <laughs> I just don't have that, you know. Mindset, I guess. Oh, I love this. Is this a die? Look at this. Is this a die? I think she made this bag. How cool is that? Maybe you did a video and I missed it. <gasps> Lydia. Oh my gosh. Where did you get these? Thank you so much. You know I love these things. She sent me some chalk edgers from Prima. Um metallic green thank you so much girly this one's metallic red this one's metallic brown oh i love these excellent and metallic purple oh terrific these are so much fun in mixed media projects and stuff great thank you so much girly all right <laughs> i don't want to run out of my battery time Little glassine bag with the washi tape. I know the sun is coming in differently, but I wanted the tree to be my background. Oh, look at this little burlap bag. Look at how she did this. I did see this. I did see this video. Look at how she did this. It's cut in a mason jar shape. Do you see that? And she just adhered the sides. See, it's like a little mason jar. But it has stuffing, so it's a little pin cushion. That is adorable. Look at these pins. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lydia. You're so clever. Look at that. 
so stinking cute. I love that. Thank you. You're so clever. My friend, she's clever. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Whoops. Look at the sand dollar. Thank you so much. If I can, I'll show you some of my decorations when we're done because I've incorporated starfish and sand dollars in all my decorations. And all the ornaments on my tree are, um, most of them, are seashells, you know, angels made from seashells. and Or they have to do with the beach, you know, like little Adirondack chairs and this and that. So, yay. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I love this thing. I loved it when you shared it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Am I going to be able to open it? Yes. This is one of her junk journals. How much do we love her junk journals? Oh my God, I love her junk journals. And this one is called The Good Life. And it looks like she used Louise's um, digital kit for this one. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I remember this. I watched this video a couple of times when she shared it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the kit that Louisa um, Diaz, one of her digital kits from the summer. I'll just go through this real quick. I'll try to find the video in which she shares this and link it below, Lydia's video. Oh my gosh, girly, thank you so much. You know, everybody does December dailies, and I've thought <clears throat> about doing, you know, a summer daily, like a June or July daily, you know? Because, I mean, I'm, I'm these days, I'm more active in the summer, what company coming and this and that. You know, since the kids are grown, there's not a whole lot of Christmas activities that we do anymore. Look at how sweet is that. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. I know I'm just giving it a quick flip through, but look at the fussy cutting she did. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is such a perfect size. Thank you so much. I can't tell you. And a little button card. Is this a stamp or an actual, or an actual, um, you know, vintage button card? Anyway, she sewed on some buttons. Thank you so much, girly. I really appreciate everything. I mean, thank you so much for going out of your way and thinking about me and for sending me this. I'm very excited about this. <clears throat> I just love you, and I hope you and your family have a fabulous Christmas, a safe and happy Christmas. <clears throat> Sorry. So thank you all for watching, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. I have some time today, so I'm going to craft or scrapbook or do something out there before I lose my mind. <laughs> Kisses and hugs. Bye-bye.